We are experiencing record-breaking storms, droughts, fires, ecosystem collapse, climate migration, which has been brought about by human-induced global warming through years of excessive greenhouse gas emissions, including that from buildings and construction. As these storms and droughts and fires become stronger and more frequent, they will have a larger and larger impact on our lives. What are you going to do about it? We will exceed 1.5 degrees global warming around about my 40th birthday, bringing previously unprecedented heat waves to Europe almost every other year. By the time I'm my grandma's age, the world will be two degrees warmer, locking in as much as four metres of future sea level rise and destroying every beach you've ever visited. Our families and friends are looking at a future of yearly weather cycles currently thought of as once in a lifetime events and the financial cost will be measured in trillions of dollars per year. We must prevent this future from happening. Almost 40% of the world's greenhouse gas emissions are due to buildings and construction. I'll try to put that number into perspective. Most of our personal decisions could be quantified in terms of kilograms of carbon emissions. So if you skip a steak, you save 30 kilograms of carbon. If you avoid flying from London to New York, you save 800 kilograms of carbon. But in comparison, when the engineers, architects and client worked together to save this 1950s building from demolition and enabled its reuse as a high-spec office space, we saved 13,000 tonnes of carbon. That's the same as 16,000 flights from London to New York. Imagine the impact that could be made if we started making reuse decisions like this on every project. We must take our professional responsibility seriously if we want to make the biggest impact we can on global emissions. The climate crisis presents not only a threat, but also an opportunity. An opportunity for me, for you, for all of us, to make a significant difference to the future of life on this planet. We can't afford to indulge ego and gratification. It's time to move away from taking pride in being the tallest, the longest, or the most heroic. We can do so much better than this. This is an opportunity to create buildings and infrastructure which by being the smartest, the leanest, the most regenerative will make a positive impact on the world. Not just for today's generation, but for every generation after. The Institution of Structural Engineers and our partners across the industry are providing the tools and guidance necessary to do all of this. Our profession has never been better equipped to reduce carbon emissions and it's never been more important than now. At the institution, we've been working tirelessly to put sustainability on a par with our enduring commitment to life safety. But for lasting change to happen, this needs all of us. The whole industry needs to raise our game. To drive the change we need to see, each of us must commit to something bold. And we must do it now. It's not the detail that's important. It's the ambition, the level of transparency, and the ability to track progress and strive for improvement. It's time to commit to doing things better. Global warming will affect us and every single generation that follows us. So when you are asked by your children and your grandchildren about the role you had to play during the climate emergency, what will you tell them? <laughs>